Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wars. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top three peated island scotches. So before we start, I am not going to mention any blends. I have some blends that are majority peated island malts in, inside them, but for me, just to keep it controversial free, I'm not going to include those ones. Price does not matter for these reviews. These are just my favourite three irrespective of price. I will be releasing later my top three budget island, peated island malts, where price does affect the outcome. So in number three, we actually have a quite an expensive whiskey. It's my most expensive island malt. And this is a cast strength whiskey bottled at 56.8% ABV. It's nine years of age. It's been aged all its life in ex-Bordeaux red wine casks, which I found really interesting. Nine years in a Bordeaux wine cask. <clears throat> For me, it still doesn't beat two of these other whiskies that are far cheaper. But this one is a new purchase and it is the Lechic Nine Year Cast Strength X red wine uh, Bordeaux casks. Now this whiskey for me, <clears throat> I, I disagree a little bit with their tasting notes that they provide. I've recently done a neck pour video of this whiskey, which is my first impressions with the whiskey. So do check that one out if you want to know more details about this whiskey. I haven't reviewed the whiskey war for this whiskey yet. I think I'll possibly, I could do it against the wine finished Talisker, but I think I'll review it to the Lechic Rioja cask, because that's also a wine finished uh, Lechic. But this whiskey for me, it's sweeter than the other Lechic, having the nine years in those ex Bordeaux casks. But for me, it still has that boiled vegetable note inside. So it's not as sweet as a, a wine finished Talisker, for instance. Having said that, it's still a great whiskey. I do recommend drinking this one with water though. It opens up a bit more flavor, but a great, great whiskey. So this is number three for me on my top three Peter Island malts. Okay, so for number two, we actually go to their biggest competitor, I would say, uh, which is a far more popular distillery. Uh, and that's gonna be a Talisker. For me, I do prefer the more sherry Taliskas, but this one isn't sherry, it's that, I should have said wine finished Taliskas. And this is the Talisker Port Re. Now, in previous videos, I have said the Port Rue. I've also filmed a neck pour of this video and a whiskey warp with this, uh, and I reviewed it against the Distillers Edition, which is also wine finished, but in Amoroso casks. This one beat it out though, for me, this whiskey is soft, still salty, still has a little bit of pepper in, a little bit of wood spice in, like a normal Talisker with that sweet peat, but it's uh, not too much. This one's a very, very, I'd say a relaxed Talisker, very sweet, more sweet than the electric, that's for sure. A great whiskey. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, so number one, what is my favourite peated island malt that I owe. It can only be one whiskey. To be honest with you, this whiskey for me tastes better than this whiskey, which is more than double the price. It's a 10 year old whiskey. It's the electric 10. This whiskey is phenomenal. I just think it's so good. 46.3% non-chill filtered. 10 years of age, purely ex-bourbon cask, but what a whiskey. Genuinely, money's not an issue in this video. I think it's the best whiskey that I own in the Peter Island uh, category. I think it's sensational. Now, I've reviewed this. I haven't done a neck pour on this, but I have reviewed it in a war with the Talisker 10 year, as well as the other Lecce, the Rioja cask. Price point on this whiskey is about £36 in the UK. Not bad. Not bad. And the Lay Chicks are the peated line of the Tobamori Distillery as well. So a really short video. Wanted to keep it super short just to inform you guys 
on what are my top three peated island malts. In number three, we have the electric nine-year cast strength, finished in all its life in ex-Bordeaux red wine casks. In number two, we have the Talisker Port Re. This is port, port wine finished Talisker, bottled at 45.8% like normal Taliskers are. Very sweet, uh, very different to a normal Talisker. In number one, we have the Late Chick 10 year, bottled at 46.3%, finished purely in ex-bourbon cask. What a whiskey. Okay guys, if you disagreed or agreed with me, please let me know in the comments down below. What is your favourite peated island malt? And if you like the video, don't forget to click like on the video. But most importantly, please do click that subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel to grow. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey Walk.